I feel a caution is in order, for we are about to enter a very grim part of our journey this evening. Grim not because of the atrocity we are about to witness, but because of who is going to commit it. I speak of those darling children, the twins. Watch, but don't be afraid to avert your eyes, especially if you yourself are a parent. And you enjoy making soup. <laughs> You don't want to know the building permit hell I went through to build that thing down here. It does have walk-in closets. It's those small touches that make the difference when it comes time to put it on the market. Terribly sorry, loves. I can't let you go out and play with your friends until you've had your supper. Your mom's making your favorite. <laughs> Sausage and tater soup. Oh, quiet down! You don't want to disturb the dear twins. Sounds like the nice little doggy of yours is famished. Would you two be dears and go fetch him his dog food? A beautiful house in the cultural heart of Victorian London. Two loving and caring parents. What could children want more? Apparently what they desire most is freedom. Freedom from bedtimes and chores. Freedom to run wild with no one to hold them back. We're about to see what happens when two adorable children snap. <laughs> There goes the fine china. Ooh, there goes the broken china.
building a fort? Oh, that's so cute. What was that crash I heard upstairs? You know what happened to the last dog that barked too much. Would you two be dears and do fetch him his dog food? ready. The smell of rotting sewage floating in the Thames, thick industrial smoke choking the air, and horse manure piled high on every street corner. Ah, <sighs> it must be springtime in London. I'd make a Mary Poppins joke right now, except that it's not in the public domain, and I don't want to get sued. Again. The twins have the run of the house now. <laughs> what kind of mischief will they get into next? Look, I don't want to stereotype here, but has there ever been a set of twins? I might be going out on a limb here, but I don't think those kids are as sweet and innocent as their pasty white skin and vapid soulless eyes devoid of life would suggest.
We have now reached the grimmest part of our grim story, for that small box shoved into the corner is the ticket out of this house for the twins. Let's watch, shall we? <laughs> if you dare. Please don't touch the soup, loves. You might burn your delicate little hands. Please don't touch the soup, my dears. I have all the ingredients just like you like them. Rat poison. <laughs> you know, if one were to examine this box of rat poison carefully, the instructions would read, One small thimbleful added to food will cause intense, horrifying, and excruciating death. Side effects include tingling, blurred vision, occasional dryness of the mouth, and getting to go outside and play. Oh, dear. Oh, oh this soup is for us, not the rats. Oh, go play with that rat poison somewhere else. and it smells delightfully delicious. Why don't you two darlings go wash up for dinner? Don't take too long or we might start without you. <laughs> As they're told? <laughs> the twins might be turning over a new leaf. <sighs> you see, this is why I never had kids. Well, that and being a cave with no real form of reproduction. But that's beside the point. The point is, the twins... Well, I don't know if there is a point to their madness. But they may find their newfound freedom comes at a cost greater than they're capable of imagining. And as with the rest of our travelers, and perhaps even you, I guess only time will tell. Shall we continue our journey? It's been so enlightening thus far. Ooh, I can't wait to see what happens next. <laughs> <laughs> 